Hi, I'm Dave from Greenhick, and today I'll be illustrating how to rotate the discharge of a 200 and 300 series fan. The tools that you may need are a rubber mallet, drill driver with the appropriate drives, a small drift to line up the holes, and some blocking for under the fan to support it. First, remove the cone bolts Remove the cone and set it off to the side. Then remove the screws from the front inlet support. You can leave the wheel on the shaft, no need to remove it. Open the weather hood access door and also remove the two side panels. This will give you access to the bolts that attach to the housing. Start by removing the bolts at the top of the weather hood to the housing and work your way around to under the bearing pedestal. The housing will tip forward. You may want someone to help you with this process. Supporting the scroll with some blocking will prevent it from dropping too far. At this point, you can rotate the scroll to the desired discharge. Be very careful with the scroll on the blocking. Remember any access doors, drains, and decals will also change. Once the scroll is positioned where you need it, reverse the process by putting all the bolts in the drive side of the housing. Starting with the two horizontal bolts and then leaving them loose until the front support is attached. Lift up the front of the housing to match up with the inlet support panel and insert all the support screws. Once the inlet support is completed, Remember to go back and tighten all the drive side bolts. Check the self-adhesive foam tape on the housing. Set the inlet cone in and bolt it to the housing. Adjust the cone position so that the gap between the wheel cone and the inlet cone are even all around. Spin the wheel to make sure it doesn't rub on the inlet cone. Tighten the inlet cone bolts. Be sure to review the operation and startup procedures listed in your installation, operation, and maintenance manuals. 